Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're getting the bus bunk installed. See you in a minute. Now, despite um, having started this thing in November 2020, it was uh, pretty much about the time we had the second major um, kick in of Covid and another, yet another lockdown. And although I was working on the bus bunk through that in the early part of that, and it did seem to go on forever, it got finished but again had to hang around at the house because I couldn't travel uh, to get it down to where it had got to go to. We couldn't mix. We missed Christmas and all like everybody else with family. And so it wasn't until we came out of that in about April that we could actually get the thing on the move. Now my son-in-law got a van and brought it up and we made a start on getting the thing loaded up and getting it ready to go down. Now originally I was going to hire a van for the weekend, go down on a Friday and drop it back up on a Monday and I went on to a couple of the websites and had a look and I was a bit horrified when I got a bill or a prospective quote back of about a hundred and no, 480 pound or something I think it was which seemed an awful lot for a four day hire even though it was over a weekend um, and then I looked a bit further into it and filled it in exactly the same but didn't put my age as 70 put it in at, at 65 and it more or less halved and I hit the problem that I knew I was going to hit at some point that over 70 people with van hire companies don't want to lend you a van um, but I did find a couple of other ones that were would do me a weekend hire for I think I'd got it down to about 180 pounds or so in the end but then it dawned on me it was rather pointless for me to drive all the way down with the van for it then to sit around for three or four days and then drive all the way back when my son-in-law could come up with a van from down his end and we'd only need a one day hire then so that's what we did we ended up with this uh, it only needed a transit as long as it was eight foot long inside that was all we needed and it enabled us to get all the stuff put away and really it was more a problem of remembering how much stuff there was in the house to make sure I'd got all the bits and then to make sure they were all wrapped properly so that there was no abrasion with the thing rattling all the way down to Western Supermare because Although I could have touched it up, there was I'd spent quite a long time getting it painted and varnished effectively. And so having to touch up panels was going to be a problem if I didn't get it right first time. So we loaded it all in, some of it was prefabricated, the front part is, has been prefabricated and was just stood up at the back of the uh, the van and strapped back to the back wall. And we covered all the other bits up with uh, the grey blankets you can get from the removal companies. And it, just a, a case really of making sure that you, if you've got any bits facing one another and touching, they were of parts that didn't matter. Because the inside surfaces of the sides didn't matter when, when there were two pieces bolted together. There were only a few places like where the rear number is that you had a cut out but other than that it was just either side of the the sandwich was painted so we got all those in the van loaded it up and sent it on its way and we followed down in the car so that we could get the thing sorted once we got there and then at the other end into the bedroom and it's at that point that it became obvious that I was right in my original assessment that this thing was a bit big for a domestic house really anyway unless you've got a huge house um, something eight foot long in a child's bedroom 
is uh, pushing it a bit particularly as this one had been extended in the last few years and you can see there's a, a bulkhead across there's no way it would have gone in the original bedroom it will go in this one but there is uh, a dropped ceiling on it where the rear support for the back of the house is but we managed we got it done it was what the uh, what my daughter wanted and it certainly seems to be what the boys wanted from the amount of time they've been playing with it and we just got it all back together again as we'd done before again the problem being not so much that it wouldn't go together but that in the interim I'd forgotten how it went together and so I had one or two abortive times when I'd assembled things in a certain order and then found much to my cost that I had to take it all apart again to fit something else and make it work. The biggest problem was getting the little barrel bolts to locate properly. They're not an ideal fixing, although they work well. They're a bit of a job to actually get to work in the first place um, to allow the bolt to thread in and go through. But I find if you get a screwdriver on the actual barrel bolt and waggle it while you're screwing the screw in from the side, it's uh, it works okay. Got up to the top deck and got all that ready to go in. And again, I was more conscious than anything of getting damage to it more than anything else. The only thing we hadn't tried was getting all the slats and the mattresses in because I hadn't, although I'd bought the um, IKEA slats in the end, I hadn't taken them out of the box since they arrived and certainly the mattresses they'd had delivered direct to the, the house down there so we didn't really even know whether it would fit together okay but I had tried it with a, a mattress at home so it seems to have uh, worked okay it helps having somebody there who is younger and considerably fitter than I am so that you can uh, get a lift with things although as I mentioned when we were doing the assembly earlier you can pick it up at each end and move the whole thing once it's assembled without any great worry. So this was, what's the time, it looks like it's about half four I think on the Friday that it went down. So it, it, we managed to get it down and assembled in a day. So there we are, it's in its new found residence and all pretty much complete. It's got its two purpose made quilts by my wife. There's double decker boss and London taxi downstairs. But even two days on it's full of toys and bears and excited boys. But hang on a minute, there's one thing missing isn't there? London Transport Bus. How do we know? Fortunately in my early years I would had um, quite a bit of time I spent with a sign maker down in Droitwich who I used to do model railways with and I often used to go round to his unit and help and watch him doing things so I, I've got a rough idea on how these um, London Transport decals, they're, they're vinyls that have been cut two layers gold and black and they then have a carrier film on the front that you just get the spacing automatically sorted for you then and they just need to uh, to be sort of burnished down pull the uh, 
covering sheet off the front and it gives you a, a reasonably good job when you're done. I think the actual trans the transfer itself has cost probably pretty much as much as anything else on the bus I think but uh, it was worth it just to get that last bit of authenticity. dryer, get the last bits of air bubbles and things out, put the soapy water on first so it doesn't actually stick, that you can't get it back if you need to, and it enables you just to tidy the last bits up. So that's it, the bus bunk is now installed. It's actually in real time been in there about a couple of months now I think and so far touch wood nothing's fallen off, nobody's hurt themselves too much on it and it looks like it's going to stay there for a bit. The boys have had an awful lot of time together in there, they've each got their own rooms actually but once that was made, certainly at weekends and now in the holidays, they both sleep in the same room and no doubt keep each other awake as I and my brother used to do at night on holidays and things like that. But they seem to be enjoying it anyway, so it's been a worthwhile project. Yet another one ticked off and out the way. We seem to be getting through some of the bigger projects now and getting them finished, which is a good sign and once again this is all down to to you guys and girls. Um, these things would not have got finished three years ago. I would have started something else in the meantime and then have just got stalled. So thank you once again. That's the end of this one. Hopefully there'll be something different next week and I'll see you then. Bye!